Hey, what's up guys, Wicked Android HD here and uh, I have to flash the latest uh, ROM for this night. It's almost 12 o'clock in Romania AM and I'm getting seriously tired. Um, it's called GoldenEye and it's the latest version based on Lollipop, Android Lollipop, TouchWiz 50.1. So. I firstly re I do recommend making an Android backup before and afterwards go to wipe data and clean to install a new ROM. I have flashed uh, two Lollipop ROMs already so this is the third one and first first booting uh, <coughs> the first boot won't take as much as uh, if you were on uh, <coughs> KitKat for example Damn the weather in Romania is so fucked up Okay so after you flash this Go to install zip And choose GE Which stands for Not for Google Edition But for GoldenEye 50.1 And it benefits of Aroma Installer One thing that made me flash this uh, this ROM was the fact that S Finder is disabled by default on the notification bar, and I'm gonna show you what I'm talking about while we're getting through this custom installation. So we are running i9505. Well, the nice slim I want. S4 recent apps. S5. S4 listen apps, enable S5, disable S5 weather, camera sounds, disable sounds, enable S5, okay so this is the one that, uh, disable S5 but add center clock, stock Chrome browser, enable, disable, Imperium kernel, Imperium kernel, <coughs> I will I would go for Imperium kernel. I heard it's good. Installation will begin now. But uh, I'd rather stick to Hybrid Max kernel. I think I'm gonna flash that out after I flash this after the installation is finished. So I'm gonna get back to you guys after it uh, completes the installation. So it's 14 percent. Stay tuned. Okay guys, so the installation is finished now, uh, has finished, and um, I I have chosen Imperium kernel as the main kernel for this ROM, but uh, I'd rather go with Hybrid Max kernel because I really like the app that configures all the settings. <coughs> and we're gonna be flashing Hybrid Max kernel version 3.5. So, I heard that Hybrid is good. Um, the only reason I am not testing it is that this Hybrid Max kernel uh, uses an app that is different from s because I don't really like the way the s looks like. <coughs> so let's see the boot animation. I haven't flashed a iBasted ROM for a while. iBasted is the developer of this ROM. I will flash it for a while. Okay. Also, oh, so it uh, benefits of the stock <coughs> Galaxy S5, I think, boot animation. So I'll get back to you guys after it finishes the boot, the boot in gap. Stay tuned. Okay guys, so I'm booted up in uh, <coughs> GoldenEye version 50.1, let me show you that. So kernel version hybrid max and uh, <coughs> ROM version GoldenEye 50.1 from developer iBasted. So guys, uh, first thing you'll notice is 
actually by going to more and you'll see add away which is an app that uh, allows you to block all the ads on this device you can customize all your apps that auto starts with uh, with the uh, ROM so this is what <coughs> is different from other stock firmwares uh, the second thing is that uh, you won't find the S Finder thing right on the, on the notification bar which makes it more minimalistic and looks perfect um, everything else is working perfectly it is blazing fast with a hybrid max kernel along with the kernel this kernel editor application which allows you to customize everything including uh, the DPI of your device which I've set myself to uh, 320 uh, as for a widget weather widget phone app let's make a call and see how it looks like simple nice animations very fast and fluid yeah no problems okay we have S voice but uh, I'm never gonna use this so click disable this is how you disable an app and uh, let me show you the lock screen you don't have a uh, custom unlocking effect from Imperium ROM but uh, this uh, is blazing fast and for now it uh, is stable and moves pretty pretty well if you ask me so lollipop uh, is fully optimized we should uh, I should say that uh, lollipop is fully optimized for our Galaxy S4 and uh, let's hope the best that uh, Revo will uh, update the one arm exposed module and the exposed installer the exposed framework to TouchWiz 5.0.1 until then thanks for watching guys if you like uh, if you like my video please thumbs up and subscribe to my channel it keeps me motivated in doing this as you may see it's 12.04 a.m. in the morning in Romania Bucharest and uh, yeah I'm getting tired so Blackland Android is out guys, bye bye.